What's going on guys, Hitpaws here with a another UE4 tutorial and this one's going to be on how to import morph targets. I, I've never actually created them myself or done, uh, I have worked with them but they were already in um, uh, helping somebody else. So uh, I have this model here and I figured this guy was pretty easy to make a morph target for. So I created this smile morph target. I have this character face here and when I hit that you can see it goes up and down and I can actually drag that up and down we're gonna get the same effect inside of UE4 now the thing is is that I created this off of a very high res mesh this is the 131,000 polygons which you can double that for triangles so I'm actually gonna drop this down to here which should be about 22,000 for his face uh, and I know that's way too high but you know we were just let's just assume that you know we're making a something you know like this is a hero cinematic character or something and it's got to be really high quality or whatever whatever high high res I don't I'm not saying this is high quality it doesn't look bad but uh, it's high res so uh, you'll notice that I can't mess with this uh, during that and that's just mudbox a way of telling me that I'm at a different subdivision level so it won't know what to do so what I actually want to do because I can't even turn it off so I need to come up and I need to get my base mesh out so I'm gonna turn off the smile and then I'm gonna go down to my level one here I'm going to go to my Select and Move Tools, Objects. I'm going to pick this, and what I want to do is I want to export that. Okay, let's... Um, I do have... I, I need to have a folder for this. I don't know where to put it exactly. Yeah, we'll do it here, and I'll make a morph target test. Okay, we'll stick him there and we're gonna call him head uh, normal. We'll do OBJ files because we're gonna bring him into max. Okay, then we'll go up to three and we'll turn the smile on then we'll go back down to one. Okay, and we'll export that selection and we'll call that head smile alright now hopefully these come in with the same vert IDs well, it should so we're gonna import so head normal we'll import that guy first I know I probably could have done them both at the same time um, and here you can see uh, how much topology we have. So in this case, if I wanted to low low res him down, I could do a um, dot ring uh, on that and then loop it one more time. And that effectively gives you half the resolution if you wanted to cut that out. Okay. But in this case, I'm not going to do that because I am, I'm a little worried about what that's going to do to the morph target. So let's get the other mesh in here really quick. Let's bring in the smile. Okay, so now we have the smile version. So if we take a look, we can see there he is smiling like a dumbass. All right, so the thing about the morph targets is I believe, I'm not entirely certain about this, is I believe that they are um, limited to being skeletal meshes. So given that, uh, we're actually going to create some bones for them here. Okay, at least two. We're just going to go uh, like that and like that okay oops okay let's um, hide that and hit P here I just wanna get that all rotated back like so and in fact I'm gonna move that up and then Repairing it. I just want it to be a skeletal mesh. That's the thing. So this is going to be B underscore roots. And this is going to be B underscore head. And it's just going to be skinned to it. Just to trick the system so it is a skeletal mesh. Let's unhide all here. Let's go ahead and add that skin modifier. I'm on, I'm not, yeah, I'm, as long as I'm not on, um, that should get me both of those. Okay, so as long as I'm on head normal here. So then what we do is we add a morpher. Okay. 
And the morpher, we need to pick object from scene. OK. And we see head smile here. And as we drag that up, we get our smile. You see that? OK, 100% like so. OK. And now we're going to hit everything here. And we're going to export. And we're going to say head morph. FBX and we're just going to make sure that we have morphs checked here and we do so we hit OK and I don't know if that's enough I don't know if that is enough to get this working or not we need to make sure import morph targets is checked here which it does not default to so we'll import that and now hopefully we have a morph target somewhere. Look at that, it's on the right. Ta-da! We go, oh, I'm sad. I'm happy, I'm sad. I'm happy, I'm sad. Let's go to two. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, five, th oh, five is the highest? Oh, I thought I could go to 5,000 and shoot his cheeks off into the universe. <laughs> It looks like he's wearing like armor, like he's a superhero. It does not look like his cheeks. But there he is, smiling. Okay. And you can't control this in game. It's I believe it's pretty pretty easy. Um, I just made a blank blueprint here, and we'll add a skeletal mesh. Okay, and I believe, uh, let's, I think we can do something like this. We can grab that and then just type morph. Okay. And we'll simulate. Didn't work. Okay, what is the morph target called? Head underscore smile. There it is. And now it smiles during game. So now you can control this value here any way you want. Let's do a timeline. Okay, so we'll go zero, zero. We'll say 1.25 and 1. Uh, 3.75 and negative 1. Hang on. I want that there that there, that there. Oh, okay, so just one, one and three. Okay, so one, one, three, negative one. I'm just making like a sine wave. Uh, and then we'll do four and zero. We'll make the length four. We'll select them all. Uh, auto, which doesn't do a good job of being autoed, but Like that, auto play and loop. We don't even need that anymore. So, uh, however you want to control that. So, I went to negative one, by the way. So, I went the opposite way. That's why it looks dumpy. But it is working. And it's pretty easy. So what you need is a m you need the morph targets. So if you're in something like Mudbox or ZBrush, you can just export those out. Just make sure you're at the, the correct export level, subdivision level. Okay. I could have gone down to this level here, but there's just like I don't feel like there's enough discerning detail. Uh, once the normal maps are in there, it changes. Um, and you could actually, you know, during his smile, you could really wrinkle him up and go crazy and, and add that information in the normal map and blend that 
through masking, you know, with with the same controls. But yeah, we do that, and then we we need the morpher um, modifier underneath the skin modifier. That gives you this. Okay, you can see here it comes like that. Uh, it was called head underscore smile, but I believe you can in fact rename that right there, and it just becomes smile. Okay. And you should be able to see it happening here. If it doesn't happen here, there's a problem. Okay. I wonder if I can do 5,000 here. Nah, that's lame. But yeah, that's it. It's easy. Um, you just need to make it and use that modifier in 3ds Max, and it comes in. It just automatically comes in. But you do need to make sure that your exporter has um, has morph. Uh, under the um, deformations here that morphs is checked and when you import you need to make sure to import morph targets is checked and then it works alright so this is Hippos signing off hopefully you guys found that useful thanks for watching